In this video, we will install VMware ESXi on an OVH dedicated server. If you are using standalone VMware ESXi, it is free to use. If you want to manage multiple VMware ESXi surveys using vSphere, you need to purchase a paid license. We are logged into OVH control panel. Click on bare metal cloud. Click on dedicated surveys. That will list all the surveys available in your OVH account. Click on the server where you need to install the VMware ESXi. Currently we have CentOS 7 on this server. To change the operating system, click on the three dots on right side of system OS. Then click on install. Click on next. From the OS type drop down, select virtualization. Expand Unix. You will see all available VMware ESXi options. We have 6.5, 6.7 and 7.0. We will install VMware ESXi 7.0. Click on Next. Now we need to enter a host name. Here you can select number of disks to be used. I will select one disk. If you select both the disk, it will be configured as RAID. Click on Confirm. Now the installation has been started. We can minimize the installation or even close this window. Once the installation is completed, you will get an email from OVH with the login details. VMware installation is now completed. Let's check the email for login details. OVH have provided login URL for VMware ESXi web interface. For the password, you need to click on this link. Let's copy the password. Instead of the IP, we can also use the service hostname. In this case, we have vmware.serverrocket.in. Let's go to the URL. It's self-signed SSL, so we need to accept the security warning. Click on Advanced. Proceed to vmware.serverrocket.in. Click on the link. The username for VMware is root and the password is the one provided by OVH. Copy the password and enter the password. Click on login. It will ask us to join VMware customer experience improvement program. Click on OK. You can see the virtual machines under the virtual machines link. To create a virtual machine, click on create register VM. Under the storage, you can see all the storage devices. We have one data store. To see all the disks available on the server, click on Devices. We have two disks. We are only using one of the disks for this VMware installation. Click on the disk. This will give more details about the disk. This disk is not used for VMware. You have the option to create a new data store. This is the disk used by VMware. Let's click on the data store. Click on Data Store Browser. Here you can upload ISO files. Click on Upload. Browse to the folder where you have the ISO files. I have Ubuntu 18.04 ISO here. I selected the ISO. Click open. The ISO is getting uploaded. You can see the progress here. Four percentage uploaded. Once the ISO is uploaded, you can create a virtual machine. Go here, create a new virtual machine. Then select create new virtual machine. Click on next. Here you need to give a name for the virtual machine. VM1, select operating system. We will select Ubuntu or Debian. We have Ubuntu Linux 64 bit. Click on next. We need to select the data store. Click on data store one. Click on next. Now we need to specify the hardware specification. We can give how many CPUs we want for this virtual machine and how much memory and hard disk size. Click on next. Click on finish. The ISO file is still getting uploaded. While we wait for the ISO file to be uploaded, we will check the newly created virtual machine. Click on VM1. At this stage, if you power on the virtual machine, there is no operating system on this virtual machine, so it won't work. Let's try power on the virtual machine. Click on power on. Click on the screen to get into the console. The OS is not able to start because there is no installation media or OS installed. Let's power off the virtual machine. Click on power off. Click on yes. ISO file upload is now completed. 
Next, we need to attach the ISO file to the virtual machine so it can boot from the ISO file. Click on Edit. For the CD slash DVD drive one, currently it is host device. Click on the drop down to select data store ISO file. Here we can select the ISO file we have uploaded. Click on the ISO, then click on select. Now click on the CD DVD drive one. It will expand, it will give an option. Status, connect, at power on. Now click on save. Now you can see CD DVD drive one. We have ISO data store selected and the ISO file is Ubuntu 80.04. Now let's power on the virtual machine. Click on the VM screenshot to access the console. The virtual machine is booting from the ISO file. Now you need to go through the usual installation process. Thank you for watching. Hope you find the video useful. If you like the video, please subscribe for more videos like this.